Machine learning is in a hype cycle today. Let's talk with Mark Hartz, the product manager lead for SAP Data Hub and Data Intelligence to see the impact this has on SAP Data Hub and developer productivity. What are the recent updates to SAP Data Hub uh, with reference to the machine learning? Yeah, it was actually a great step forward for us now to bring um, a richer data science machine learning experience into Data Hub. So we took the services also from Machine Learning Foundation within SAP Cloud Platform, provisioned it into Data Hub to really have an end-to-end -end, um, data science use case embedded within Data Hub. And of course we gave it a new name, so it's right. SAP Data Intelligence. Um, there are several data science teams working from different companies and coming from different types of backgrounds and uh, how do you uh, build the capabilities to bridge the gap between uh, those data science teams with the uh, SAP teams? In such isolated setups where we have the data science department apart from the traditional sub IT, I constantly hear requirements like provision all the SAP data into a data lake to do machine learning and then take the result back into um, a productive enterprise process. This is exactly what we try with SAP Data Intelligence, to have an end-to-end -end, um, application exactly helping to acquire, to process, to prepare, but then also to create the model and to deploy it to basically you know, take away the isolated island solutions but have an end-to-end -end solution for it. So there are different uh, data science again coming from uh, different programming languages like PyTorch, Python, TensorFlow, oh, yeah, or yeah. Um, do you think they need to learn SAP first before they actually implement SAP Data Hub with machine learning? So let's make one thing sure, it should not be SAP monolithical solution, it's actually meant to be open. So bring your own model, bring your own language, and then use the lifecycle and the versioning of data intelligence to deploy it. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Mark.